Sir, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So, I want to give a huge thank you to Mr. Carlos Rodriguez. I just picked up um, the steering column cover for the Samurai. As you know, this video is my trip to Alabama. Got a long ride ahead of us and we got a lot of work to do. Should be a really cool video. Do me a favor, if you like my content, hit that like button, please, and thank you. If you're enjoying the channel, comment down below, please and thank you. With that being said, let's hit the road. Here we go, seven hours and two minutes, 501 miles. First stop, Lee, Florida. Got some gas. Some guy ass, 20 gallons. I borrowed my son-in-law's truck. He's got a lease. Um, he don't really use it all that much. So, plus my truck, I gotta do some work to. I gotta do some front end work, brakes, um, wheel bearings, front wheel bearings. So, um, 289 miles left. It's not Wawa, but it'll do. It's loves and me some hot dogs. Keep on keeping on. All right, guys, here we go. It's Friday. Uh, about 10 o'clock. I'm an hour behind because of being in Alabama. We're an hour behind the time zone. Uh, I'm at Joey's, um, Joey's shop and uh, we're fixing to get ready to get started. Behind me is some um, really, really cool um, vehicles. I'm gonna go over those in just a second, but got a lot of work ahead of us and uh, it's great to um, be back with uh, Mr. Milfat, he's such a cool dude. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. He really, really, truly, and he's a legend. Um, for him to be a part of the Samurai, there would be no Samurai. So just an FYI. Without him, it wouldn't have been possible. So um, I just want to get that out there and get that known. Uh, I am extremely grateful for what he's doing right now. You know, what he's going to be doing for me, helping me uh, with this. So, um, here we go. So this is Susie's truck. Uh, I don't know much about it. Um, basically, Joey's been working on this off and on, off and on. Um, this has a 63 Impala dash on it. He was showing me before. Um, I personally love Impalas. I started with Impalas. Um, 63, 64 hopping cars back in the day. So I know all about him, but um, he made you know a lot of custom panel work inside here, and uh, the whole bed stock floored. Um, I like how nice and clean it is. Um, just an awesome truck. Gonna be a really awesome truck once it's done. And uh, off to the next one. Now this was Joey's baby back in the day. Um, I am still learning the history behind it but little by little um you know he's putting it back together and i think what's cool is this truck was built so long ago that um you know he still held on to it and this was the original you know paint from you know way back in the day and to see it um the same owner still have it you know working on it and you know gonna re gonna redo it it's a it's an awesome uh awesome thing you know i wish i had half the vehicles from when i was younger you know such a cool piece such a cool piece and now here we are oh my god i overwhelmed him i have parts for days here we got to do work to the inner fenders the dash the steering um clamshell the grill the hood some trim i scratched up um the console that i scratched up really bad don't even ask but um these are all the panels i made 
for uh, the samurai in the wheel wheel wells. That's a legend right there, boy. He is a legend. Joey, you want to say hi? What's going on? <laughs> He's a legend. So here we go. So, it is now 3.30. Joey and I have been sanding since what, nine o'clock? Probably nine o'clock in the morning. Literally sanding all day. I'm gonna show you what we've done uh, and what's going to happen. Pretty cool. I'm very excited. Very, 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 very excited. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been a long morning, so here goes. So the hood is now fixed. All the dents are taken out. The putty body work is done. He's fixing the, um, I'm assuming the prime. Um, I'm still learning the lingo myself because I am not a body guy. Um, it's gonna do some, some magic finessing to these. Um, the center console, I messed up. I had to hole saw this bigger and the hole saw got away on me and weren't. So um, the dash is completely knocked down. Um, I'm still learning this whole process on how he's gonna do this. I'm very excited to learn it. The grill is taken down. Um, and I worked on this entire pile uh, here. These are all uh, the panels that had to get sanded and knocked down. The centerpiece to the dash had to get sanded and knocked down. Oh, the air tank. Uh, I just had a uh, moment. I forgot about that. Um, we're still undecided for what we're gonna do. Uh, and then the distributor, that's the only thing that's left. But there's an insane amount of pieces here. Um, sir, would you like to add anything in the mix? Not really. Not really? <laughs> Fixing the prime. Fixing the prime, so. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video. That's the plan in my head at least. Um, it's a cool process, obviously, on how this all go, you know, comes together. And uh, that's that. So here we go. All right, guys, day two. Uh, hit it pretty hard yesterday. Got all the things we wanted to get done. Done. Um, a lot of stuff's in primer. A lot of stuff's, everything's basically sanded down. So uh, take a look. So the hood is fixed. Joey's doing his magic. I don't know how to do this stuff. Not gonna lie. All the dents, obviously, you can see are taken out. All the plastics, or um, there's a steering column, the clamshell, grill, dash. We're gonna smooth the dash out. Uh, all the pieces to the dash under the hood for the inner fenders, console, all the parts there on the ground. Everything is sanded and ready to go except the air tank. Um, not a big deal. And the distributor we got to do. This was Joey's old steering wheel off of his, um, his Tacoma. So I'm thinking this will work on the Samurai. Um, I had my son do some measuring last night and it might work. Um, the adapter is the tricky part for the Samurai. So we shall see. Making some big progress. All the uh, tan stuff, copper stuff, is now black. Um, everything came out really nice. 
Got two solid coats on it right now. Mr. Joey, smoothing out the dash. He is what's called finger fucking the dash. Um, I don't know if you remember, but there was lots of bumps, original texture on the dash. And um, basically what he's doing is smoothing it out. So get it, getting it ready for paint. So I wanted to show you guys something. Joey's teaching me which, where, what's called smoothing the dash out. Um, this has primer on it, okay? He, what he did was he knocked down the plastic until it was smooth and then he um, put a heavy, heavy primer on it um, to adhere so when he paints it, the paint's gonna stick to it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm sanding all of you know the little pieces and if you look i don't know if you can see that you should be able to see that you see the orange peel that's in there i have to knock that all down all those little uh dark spots and then once all the dark spots are out that will um allow the paint to have a nice smooth base and this dash is going to look fucking sexy i'm sorry i had to drop the f-bomb but right joseph it is 100% gonna look sexy. I'm really, really excited. Now I'm gonna show you the difference here in just a second. You can, you can definitely see the difference. Obviously if you, this is sanded and this, the, this side is not sanded. So all the pieces have to get done this way. And uh, this, this is really, really gonna look pretty. So the truck, the orange, that's on the truck, um, the dash is gonna get painted that color. I'm actually really excited. Um, Cause when I painted the dash, I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, is what it is, being honest. And uh, the paint wasn't sticking to it. And um, now having, you know, Joey do it professionally done, um, it's really gonna set the interior I'm, I'm excited so here we go yes stay got to keep you all in the loop you see how smooth the dash is I mean obviously there's dust on it and stuff but look how nice it's gonna look so pretty when this thing's all orange oh my goodness I'm excited um, everything's drying everything's got fresh paint on it and uh, Joey's working on the grill are you enjoying your time with me, Joseph? Oh, yeah. Liar. <laughs> it's a lot of work, man. It really is. I kind of bombarded him. But the thing is, I'm not sitting here staring at him. I'm, I'm helping him, getting it done. So if I was sitting here staring at him, that'd be a different story. But we're not doing that. I'm helping. Look how smooth the dashboard is. And again, this is gonna look so pretty once once this is cleared. Ladies and gentlemen, we have clear coat.
I had to. You can see the, the pearl in the paint. Ooh. Man, so pretty. So pretty. So before I leave, I wanted to video this wall um, in Joey's house. This truck, which is Devil Boy Media, which is really cool. Um, this truck was started in uh, 2005 and it wasn't that color. I was looking through the photo album. It was actually like blue and gray and all sorts, um, you know, a graphic. But this is the finished version. You finished it in what, 2018, 17? Thanks, so. Somewhere around 2017, 2018, and this is when you got featured for for uh, for the build. Um, and this is said for a reason. Finally, Joey's time to shine, because Joey, and I can say this um, with all due respect, has a heart of gold. Um, he's selfless, not selfish. Spent the entire weekend here helping me with my truck is unbelievable i can't words can't even begin to describe so this is really cool to see this um this is his bucket which is what uh, is on the side of the house for 12 years he's had and just some cool artwork this is another one of the bills that he's he was a part of this truck is around still today he said and that is um devil boy media right there which is really cool so uh, I love this wall. I just wanted to take a picture, uh, you know, a video of this wall. Um, would you like to add anything to it, Joey? No, not really. No, not really. <laughs> He's he, super camera shy. <laughs> so now you got to bear with me because I'm switching from GoPro to phone, iPhone. This is Joey's daily. Joey, how long you had this? Uh, 12 years. 12 years, as is. Paint everything lays chassis when the, other wheels are on. <laughs> when the other wheels are on it she lays chassis but um super cool truck man we're gonna go to the bank get some uh, relaxed atmosphere we're gonna go get some uh some monies super 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 cool truck super cool truck um 12 years old man love to see it This truck has been through the mill and back 1,700 times. I am so proud to have built this Samurai from scratch, from hand. If you like my content, please hit that thumbs up button. Share this video, comment down below. If you're interested in uh, this build, there's an entire category dedicated to the Samurai. Every video, step by step, how I built the chassis, how I designed the front suspension, how I set the rear suspension up, how I was able to fit 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag, because that's realistically what it is. This truck is so small, there's nothing to it. I appreciate each and every one of you as always. Please, Comment down below, share the video, like the video, and we'll see you at Mini Nuts.